Grandpa, I found this in your old stuff. What is it? Sit down, son. I'm gonna tell you a great story. Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about old Telltale games on the Vita. The Walking Dead on the Vita is a good port, but some questionable decisions in controls bother me. So in the game there are two control schemes, device controls, which mean that you play the game like you would on a console, and touchscreen controls. I selected touchscreen controls. Big mistake. Because one, it's horrible to play like this, and two, you can't change the controls back in the options menu. Why? Why can't I change the control scheme in the options? Which means that in scenes like this, you don't move the camera with the right joystick, like it will be natural, but instead you move it with the touchscreen. And the controls are clunky. Also during play, there are moments where the game freezes for some seconds to transition to the next scene. But in rest, the port is really good. You get the first season of The Walking Dead, Telltale, without compromises, the game looks good and plays good aside of the freezes, and it's the same game. So aside of the controls and the occasional frame rate chugs, I'm very happy with the port. If you've never played the game, it's about a zombie outbreak, and the game is dialogue oriented, meaning that the game is based on dialogue options and decision making, rather than going into the action. But even so, there are action-packed and intense moments too. But the majority of the game is focused on the dialogue. And you should play it for its narrative. You should definitely play it for its narrative. I'm not into zombie games, but this game was amazing. So you can try it even if you don't like post-apocalyptic games. And if you already played the game, on the Vita you have the entire first season, which is my personal favorite, so if you want to replay it, just know that you get the entire first season. But it's a bummer that you get only the first season complete. From the second season you get only episode 1, which they also gave as a demo. And it's a bummer, I wish they made more episodes available on the Vita, because having such a great experience on the go is something really great. Also in season 2, they ditched the touchscreen and touchpad controls and adopted console controls, finally. Well, actually to be more precise, you don't get to choose anymore. The controls are predefined to be more button oriented, but you can still use the touchscreen if you want. You don't get to choose, you can use both from the start. And action scenes and other stuff is usually linked to the buttons, not to the touchscreen. But it's just too bad that they didn't continue. You get the episodes from the menu and the menu says that you can buy them, but they never made them available for the Vita. You get only the first episode and now with the store shut, it's final. There won't be any more episodes. So what you can play as The Walking Dead Telltale Season 2 on the Vita, you get only episode 1. And it's a bummer. But at least you get the first season, which is my personal favorite. At least that. And the first season offers around 9 hours of playthrough. So, yeah, at least we have the first season. And The Wolf Among Us, luckily, has the best of both. Meaning that it has console controls, and for those who like it more, they can still use the touchscreen. And it has the entire season. You get 5 episodes in this. And it takes you around 9 hours to finish the story. It gets lag in action intense moments and it has the same freezes when switching scenes just like in the other games, but still, on the go it offers a lot. The game is interesting, the story might not be for everyone, but it's still interesting nonetheless. It's about Fable Town, a place where Fable characters live among humans and they need spells to disguise as humans. You play as the big bad wolf and investigate as you are the sheriff of Fable Town. The game is interesting, it's dark and it's unique, it's worth at least trying out. And it offers a nice gameplay time of 9 hours, just like the first season of The Walking Dead. And this one has an interesting narrative too, so story wise the main thing of the game, it does it well. So no matter if you play The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us, you're getting some great narratives. And if you don't know 
with which to start, I recommend The Walking Dead, as it's compatible with more tastes than the latter. But still, all of the Telltale games are really interesting, and what are they based on? I mean the narrative, because these games are narrative-focused games, they do their job very well at that. 